The first thing we do is put the uh, heat shrink splice protector on one of the fibers because we sure can't do that after we're finished. Then we strip, clean, and cleave both fibers. We'll strip first, stripping so that we leave enough bare fiber for the cleaver. Then we'll clean the fiber, place it in the cleaver, following the instructions for the cleaver type that we're using. And there's our cleaved fiber. Be sure you remove the um, fiber carefully so you don't harm it. And then remove the cleaved fiber shard and dispose of it in a safe manner. Place the fiber in the splicer, lining it as close as possible to the electrode. Now we'll do the same thing with our second fiber. We'll strip it. Clean it. And cleave it. Again, we'll be careful to remove and discard the fiber shard left. Place the second fiber in the fusion splicer aligning it carefully with the electrodes. Clamp it in. Getting it carefully aligned. Clamp the fibers, close the cover, and run the program for the splicer. It appears that we have one of the fibers out of alignment, so we'll Realign it, position it carefully, now we'll run the program again, you can see the two fibers being brought into position near the center, it will pre-fuse the fiber to remove dust and heat them up and then push them together and fuse them. When the screen goes white, that's the fusion arc, and there are our fusion spliced fibers. Now we'll carefully remove them from the splicer. Making certain that we don't damage them but that fusion splice is as strong as the fiber itself. Now we want to slide the heat shrink splice protector over the splice section so that the splice is in the center. Place it in the heater module on the splicer. Now we'll run the heater program which will heat shrink the splice protector on the fibers. Give it time to let the heat shrink do its job. And there is our completed splice.